What's up, what's up, what's up? This is Mill Records in the house. Big Rich here. Trying to uh, get get the 411 down with uh, one of the Mill Record artists here at the photo shoot. Uh, what's up, little No, How let Trying to do it over here, man. You know, we downtown right now. Got this photo shoot going, doing real big. Trying to be do well, really do cast married things. You know what I mean? We got uh, Miss Fire in the building. We got uh, Eden in the building. We got Sean Salard in the building. I mean, we got my, my homie Otto in the building. I mean, R&B Jones in the building, man. Look. We trying to do big things over here right now. Well, we doing big things, you know what I mean? I'm just taking it from the up front, man. I'm a little notorious. I want y'all to know. I mean, it's not stopping. We gonna keep this thing going. Wherever it's going, wherever it's, I mean, we in the mix, man. So, y'all stay tuned. Be on the lookout, you know what I mean? Be on your local radio stations. Be on your local TV stations. I mean, the fans, they coming. We trying to grab about at least a million fans out of Houston. I mean, there's six million people down here, so we working out with Jelly. You know what I mean? So I'm Southside dead in till I D.I.E. So I mean, but that don't mean I ain't, I can't be Southside in Pakistan. So look, yeah, hey, hey, I'm trying to get that. So what we doing? Hey, appreciate y'all. Hey, wait up, wait up, little no. We, we want to know something else, huh? How did you get started with the Mill family? How did this all come about for you? Well, first and foremost, man, it, it started out like uh, maybe like a couple years ago, 10, 12 years back, man. I'm working with my man Ray Sneed in the house, you know what I mean? This man did business all over town, working with some of the big names, Big Hawk, ESG, Lil Kiki, some of the Houston homegrown names that Slim Thug, you know, a couple of the names, A-Ball, MJG to throw out there. But we started this meal thing, All Money Is Legal. We started this with just, just sitting up one day. We like, man, you know, we want a meal. You know, we trying to get to the point to where we trying to get a meal. So All Money Is Legal just came to my mind or it came to my producer mind, came to my manager mind, and we all just synced in and went together with it. Because, I mean, it means a lot. It's mean, it means more than just one thing, one genre of music. I mean, we got hip-hop. We got rap. We got rock stars. We got pop-hop. Whatever you want, whatever kind of genre you like, alternative music, country music, man, we're going to get it in for you. And you know what I mean? I just, that's what we came up with. You know what I'm saying? Our money is legal. Okay, well, uh, we hope uh, y'all break it down and and we we see you at the top, huh? Okay, already, already. Okay, uh, we got Mr. Rizzo in the building. Mr. Rizzo, what's up with you now? What's up with you, Mr. Rizzo? We got Young Chunk in the building. Come on, Young Chunk. Go ahead, and get your interview. Do your interview skills. It's your boy Young Tucker down there. Um, what's the place on? Downtown, you already know. Fireworks Entertainment. Hit me on my stretch. Used to my girl Fire right here, manager. If you wanna hook up on me, call Fire. I don't know her number, so yeah. Young Tucker in the building already. So what's up with your rhythm? Chillin', man. Down here downtown at the photo shoot, man. The Mill Records, man, is in the building, man. We finna make some noise down here in Houston, man. I'm new to the fam, man, but I'm feeling the love and I'm feeling what's going on down here, man. So for you, how did how did a meal how did a meal record start for you? Uh, for me, man, it started. I won a competition hosted by my girl Fire, Fireworks Entertainment, man. 2011 Ultimate Entertainer Contest, man, I won that, ran into my boy Rich, man, and he hit me up and wanted to do some business, man, we sat down, everything seemed copacetic, man, we trying to make something really happen, man. Okay, well, as uh, long as you, uh, you feel at home? Oh, yeah, I feel love, man. Okay. okay, already, already, we got Young Tucky, come on over here, Young Tucky, what's up with you, man, you good? You good? So what, what's, what's your uh, 
aspirations and, and hopes and dreams out of there. So what what message do you got for the for the youngsters out there your age that's trying to be successful in anything they do? Okay, well, Mooshock is in the building. 
already, but I see Firework just walked up, man. I, I, I want to talk to you. Fire, come here for real quick. Fireworks is in the building. What's going on with you, Miss Fire? Yeah, already. You okay now? You doing good? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay because a meal is okay. Yeah, man. You know what I'm talking about? Um, first and foremost, I'd like to give a shout out to my boy Scully. You dig what I'm talking about? Gonna be doing a production. A lot of times we tend to forget about the people that's on the back end of the production, but if it wasn't for people like us on the back end that do all of the, the, the sideline jobs, you know, we wouldn't be here standing with us. So shout out to all the production people that we got going on. Shout out to you for being a, a, a gracious um, um, CEO, you know, because they could have been in here with butter bean bags, you know, but they look... <laughs> They, they look all right, you know, you could have had them in some oh, other stuff, yeah. you know what I'm talking about. So um, the whole gang is here. Um, you will be seeing this. Follow Emil on Twitter, on Facebook, and um, just be looking forward to great things. All the artists got so much diversity, and I'm not just saying this because I'm cute and fat. I'm saying this because it is what it is. Shout out to my boy Bam. Definitely do his thing, you know what I'm saying? So he's going to be coming up in just a moment. Enough about me, I'm Fire, a.k.a. Miss Core MC, a.k.a. DJ Fat Alberta. The crunk is in most famous fat girl in south of BT's Comic View. BT's 106 in Park, and on a Sunday, if I ain't got enough change, I'm your private dancer. Already, Miss Fire, in the building. Bam Entertainment in the building. What's up with you, Bam? I see you out here today, man, doing your thing, man. What's going on with you? You, you good? You good today? Uh, yeah, I'm good, man. Uh... Nah, we family, man. I, uh, it's just a beautiful and, and a wonderful feeling to be out here with family, man. Emil Records, Fire, Fireworks, Big Rich, Emil Productions, all this Bam Entertainment, Grizzle, my boy Tonka, my boy Mooshot. We got Paint, we got Eden in the bill. We got everybody in the bill. Little Note, you know what I'm saying? We got Auto, you know what I'm saying? It's just a wonderful thing and a wonderful feeling to be around such great artists. And, and, and a great inspiration, you know, and, uh, you know, Bam Entertainment, it's, it's, you know, it's a lot of things you can look out for that as far as 2011 to 2012, 2020, as far as what you want to look out for, you know what I'm saying, we're going to be everywhere, YouTube, Reverb Nation, Facebook, shoot, even MySpace, you know what I'm saying, so just look out for you, Bam Entertainment, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's, it's just going to go down. All right, don't go nowhere yet, Bam, we got a we'll couple more questions for you, so, you are artist yourself, huh? So tell us about that a little bit. Tell us about your aspirations as an artist. Well, my aspirations as, a, as an artist are everything. You know, as far as production, writing, producing, engineering, mixing, mastering, everything. You know what I'm saying? And I've been doing that for since I was about what 17 years old. So it's just it's just been in me, and I've been working on my project for a long time. As far as the Bam ENT uh, ambient uh, mixtape. And uh, right after that is the uh, LP. But you know, I've been working on everybody's stuff. You know what I'm saying? From Jess Britney, uh, Ron B, to uh, all these cats, Stereo Hogs, to uh, Anaya Rachel, Courtney J, BOS, Boss Lady J. I can go on and on and on down the list. You know what I mean? But uh, I mean, that, that that's what I've been doing. You know? Okay, already, but we got, let me ask you this. If somebody wanted to say who is Bam Entertainment and wanted to go check out some of your music, where can they find it at? Man, you can definitely look me up on you can definitely look me up on Facebook, Bam ENT, Reverb Nation, MySpace, uh, YouTube, uh, any iTunes. You can look me up everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Google me. You know what I'm saying? Dot com. Bam ENT. Entertainment. And how did, you, how did you and the band ENT and the Emil family coincide and hook up? Man, we hooked up in a beautiful way. Big Rich just heard my music down the hall, and he came on the other side. He came on the other side of the hall. That's how we hooked up, man. Great music, great sound. Bam Entertainment, Emil Records. It's going down. I'll let your boy. We got R&B Jones in the building. R&B Jones, where you at? Oh, there you go. Here you come. Coming up, R.B. Jones, and to let y'all know a little something. What's up with you, R.B. Jones? What you up to today, man? It's good. Already, already. So tell us something. 
your hopes and, and aspirations once you get into the industry itself, the industry? What where do you see yourself flatlining it? Man, I'm just pretty much my my goal is to take back what they took from us, man. And that's our music, you know what I'm saying? I got bigger, you know what I'm saying, as far as taking over the pop world, you know what I'm saying? R&B Jones is the name, you know what I'm saying? So be looking out for that. That's the part of my character, you know what I'm saying? The R is for the rap and the B is for the singing and the blues, you know what I'm saying? And the pop is just who I am, you know what I'm saying? I always been, Michael Jackson always been an inspiration to me, so I feel like I'm taking back what he started. You know? Okay, so you bringing that up, you rap and sing. So which one do you mostly favor? Which one do you, that's what, which one do you mostly see yourself Putting your comfort down, your feet down, out the gate. That's 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 the thing. I don't have no. It's, I didn't master both of my arts. You know what I'm saying? I didn't I didn't perfect it just for a minute. I dance also too. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't I didn't perfect it. Mastered everything around me pretty much. So I mean, it's no lane with me. You know what I'm saying? I got it. It's R&B Jones. It's self-explanatory. I am music. That's 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 what I. That's what R&B Jones says. I am music. It's, it's it's I'm everything. I can't be in one lane. You can't hold me down. I, I, I done pretty much taught myself how to rap, how to sing, how to write, you know what I'm saying? And now it's just, like I said, I done conquer every element of who I am. And now it's just about putting that image out there and portraying that, what I want to be portrayed mostly about r Jones, you know what I'm saying? The, the album I was going to, you know what I'm saying, is um, hip-hop and r and And I said not hop, but pop, hip-hop and r and you know what I'm saying? Jones, that's me. Okay, I got one more question. How did you and the Mill family come about and uh, become what it is today? Man, just good ass people around me, man. I hooked up with my good son. You know what I'm talking about? Long story, man. Just me and son started working together. So you know it, I was working with a Mill, man. Here I am right now. So. Already. Well, we look to hear more from R.B. Jones. Already. Otto, matter of fact, Otto in the building. What's up with you, Otto? Little Otto in the building. The next Lupe fiasco in this month. No. Anyway, what's up with you, Otto? We got the photo shoot, man, with my people in Mill Records. We in here. Already. Already. So, so tell us about your lane. You know what I'm saying? Where, where do you stand out? Are you hip hop, R&B, rap, gangster rap? What, what's your, what's your? your line of business when it comes to the music industry. When I first picked up the pen back in my uh, elementary days, I was more like a, a R&B rapper, you know, for the ladies, because who don't love the ladies, right? But um, I, I expanded off to hardcore hip-hop, soft hip-hop, you know, anything just to get me paid and just show you what I love, what I do, and what I'm about. Really everything, hip-hop, R&B, pop, just try to cover it all. Learn how to sing from man R&B Jones. Trying to hold that note. <clears throat> Ready? So, with, okay, so being in the Mill family, we'll get to that question in a minute, but being in the Mill family, out of, out of the artists uh, you see, which artists do you expect to really be working with the most? Um, well, to be honest with my boy R&B, because I first started off with him, you know what I'm saying, we, we got hits together before the cameras and the lights and everything, so I just want to take from him, then expand with the rest of the family. Pretty much everybody, huh? Everybody. I, I, I love everybody. That's all. That's, that's auto for you, you know. But let me ask you this before I let you go. How did you and your situation with the Mill Records come about? Here we go again. I'm being on b Introduced me to Rich Dog. You know what I'm saying? He's lawyer. He want me to uh, learn the business side. So we want to get effed over in the long run. So, I mean, it was. I felt a lawyer connection. That's only something you can feel. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I feel trustworthy. We go in the right direction, and that's what I love about it. Auto. Auto. Okay, there we go. A meal record in the building. We had Auto in the building. We got uh, Eden in the building. Miss Eden, can we speak to you real quick? She's kind of shy, y'all. Here she comes. We got Eden in the building. Hey, Miss Eden, how you doing? You, you trying to get away from us, huh? Take your shots and disappear on us, huh? <laughs> so how you doing, Eden? We, we know that you uh, you in the, the, the pop music world. So on that level, where do you really see your music going and what do you, what's your aspirations for? Well, I see it going far, very far. And um, I'm mean, it's just my passion. It's been my passion. 
option to sing since I was gay tall. So, I mean, you know, I've been writing music. I mean, I've been writing poems since I was a child. And I took that into, you know, songwriting. And then I was lucky enough to work with some, some people that were able to help me record. And then just got into it like that. So, it's just my, my dream is to just take it as far as I can as far as you can, huh? So, uh, tell us some of the uh, artists you work with here in Houston. Um, I've worked with Lil Flip for a little bit. Um, I mean, working with him was, it was, it was a good experience. I mean, it was kind of rough on some parts, but I mean, it, it did give, you know, give me... Edge on the bed. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes it can be like that. When it comes to uh, music in general, um, what's your what's your next plans? Like, where you what's the, what's the name of your next album? Man? You think? Well, I wanted to name the first album that I wanted to put out uh, Genesis. Okay, like the Garden of Eden, for for example. Genesis is like a new beginning, a start of something new. So that's the name I came up with. Okay, okay. Now we gonna we ain't gonna hold you too long, but we do want to ask you. As we ask our artists, how did your relationship with Emil come? Um, I've been working with um, Ray Sneed, great producer, engineer. He's, uh, I've been working with him since I was like 20 years old. And then, you know, he had his connections. He's been working, holding on to my music and pushing it to other people. And um, thank you. <laughs> okay, Eden. Well, we look forward to hearing a lot more from Eden on the Mill Record and Entertainment, Cavi Record, Ray Sneed in the building. He he not here right now, but he here in spirit. So, well, on that note, let Eden say goodbye to you guys. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all. Where's Sean at? Oh, she's still uh oh she in the photo shoot, but we're gonna take a pause for the call. A Mill Records in the building. Rich Dog here, always and forever. Shout out to Skillio in the building. Wrapping it up. Oh, oh, okay, hold on. Now we got, we do got Sean in the building. Here she go. Hold on, here she come, come on. Sean in the building. What's up with you, Sean? You still shooting? All right, come here, we need to talk to you real quick. Okay, here she go. Hey, hey, we got a lot to talk to you about. What's going on with you? All right, how y'all doing? Doing good. We just got, uh, we want to know what's going on with you. What's going on with your music these days? First, I got to catch my breath from coming up three flights of stairs. But I'm good. But my music is going good. Uh, all I can say is God is good. I definitely feel blessed because he continues to surround me with people that believe in me, people that love my music, people that, you know, people study feeling it, so they give me the ammo and the momentum to keep going, so I feel blessed. Okay, well, tell us, tell us about your humble beginnings. How did, how did, uh, your star come about? Let's say, with your, was you in the group? What, 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 what was that story about? Just, just, what was going on with you when you first started? What was the, the name of that group? What's going on? Well, I started out in a group called I Candy. Well, first I was solo, then I started with a group named I Candy. Shout out to my girl Star. We still cool, still friends. We both just decided to, you know, do our own thing. And then I tried out a group called Pink Place. And I just figured, you know, when I'm strong-minded, I just, you know, it's best for me to be alone and be a solo artist. And it's working out better for me to I put out the first female uh, mixtape in Houston back in 2003, OG Ramsey, screwed and chopped up, and um, we was we had fun, we was going from Dallas to Austin to Corpus Christi to Arizona, me and all my girls on the band, 15 girls deep rolling, and it was fun, it was fun, and you know, um, what was after that, you know? after Pink Lace, then I mean, like for the last two years I've been solo working on my EP and my new album, so I'm just ready to see what's next. Okay. 
Okay, okay, that's a, you had a long run, huh? 2003, huh? But hey, don't we all have that long run? But uh, let me ask you this: so you have two styles of music. Now, when when you look at them two styles of music, do you feel yourself battling with each other, or do you feel that you in control of of both styles and you gonna make them come together? Well, I wouldn't really call it two styles. I would call it crossing genres together, mixing it, blending like a, a double, you know. But, you know, when you have two styles, it's two separate things. And everybody knows from country, pop, rock, hip hop, everything is all in a time. I think that it is because I'm made up of all that, so I'm getting a chance to really be myself. So. Hey, that sounds good, but we got one last question for you. How did your situation with Emil Records come about? Ooh. Oh, yeah, okay. I met Lil No. Oh, no, I forgot. I met Lil No. He's a talented rapper, and I was, I'm actually, I did videography too, so I shot a video for him, an underground video, and that's how I met Emil. Yeah, to him. And, They've been interested in me. They've been telling me for months, hey, deal with us, get with us, get with us. We can help you out. And, you know, finally I was like, okay, let's see. And so far they've been doing everything they say they going to do. I believe that they will continue to. Um, I like it. I'm enjoying it. Okay, well, we got Sean in the building, formerly Pink Lake, formerly Eye Candy, but now solo on her journey to start it. Stay tuned. Check me out on YouTube, backslash Sean Slaughter, Twitter, Sean Slaughter, MySpace, Sean, Sean Slaughter, Yahoo, Sean Slaughter. Only for booking though. Yeah. Already a meal in the building.